Is creatine a supplement I recommend? Yes. Yes, it is. Creatine is the most researched supplement in the sports science world. With over 700, 700 human studies investigating its safety and efficacy. It's a, it's a molecule that's produced naturally in the body. It's also found in food like meat and fish. It is, it is nothing dodgy. Even though our body's producing it and, and we're getting it from our diet, the quantity, it's, it's just not high enough to get the full muscle building and performance benefits. This is, of course, where supplementation comes in. The purpose of creatine supplementation is to increase your body's creatine phosphate stores. Creatine phosphate is required to produce ATP, energy, during high intensity training, such as lifting weights or or when you're when you're late for the bus and you you have to give it legs. Increased creatine phosphate stores equals more energy availability, meaning we can train harder for longer, resulting in a much greater hypertrophic muscle building response. But Andy, doesn't creatine result in in, in what retention? Hell yeah, it does. But this 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 isn't a bad thing. It's intramuscular what retention. Creatine draws water into the muscle cells, not under the skin or, or anywhere else, just directly into the muscles, giving the muscles a fuller, tighter of appearance, not a soft, fluffy, bloated one. The type of, of creatine supplement I recommend is, is good old-fashioned creatine monohydrate. This has by far the more scientific backing, and it's, it's super cheap. But as awesome as, as creatine is, no supplement is needed to make gains. Focusing on the foundations such as nutrition, exercise, sleep, and hydration should always be the priority. Supplementation comes after the foundations are in place. But once the foundations are in place, supplementation, especially creatine, can really help take things to the next level.